Hello everyone, Joanne with StampingInTheValley.com. Welcome to my craft room and today we're going to be making some little baskets on our Facebook Live today. How much fun is this? I'm on here on Sundays at 3 o'clock live, but of course you can always catch the video um, afterwards. And today I will be doing a giveaway. And um, the giveaway is these little baskets. I'm going to send you... I, ha I cut the I already cut them out. I'm going to send you these um, are already scored and cut enough to make two of this little basket. Isn't that cute? This one is so sweet. And two of uh, materials to make this basket along with the brads. So everything will be scored. So you'll kind of have to watch the video and um, you know and, and of course it will go on my YouTube channel tomorrow. Um, and today and today it will be here on Facebook, but just watch the video and watch how I do everything You'll get a daffodil delight. You'll get a Highland Heather. This one makes this basket I already scored and cut everything for you. You just have to cut out the bottoms here I'm not going to cut that for you because you got to do something and have fun. Hey Lily and then this basket right here I've already scored it. You will cut everything and it makes this little basket right here now, these would be great for Easter, so that's the giveaway for today. You get four baskets. Um, so these are great for Easter, but I also think, <laughs> hi Lily, um, I, I also think that these little baskets are fantastic for anybody at work, a teacher's gift or anything like that. There is a little something with this basket that I will show you in just a few minutes. But let's go over just a couple of things. If you place an order with me or a Paper Pumpkin subscriber or a downline. Hi, Deborah. Nice to see you. Thanks for um, spending some time with me this afternoon on Sunday. So here are the two free card kits for this month. These you get and receive if you place an order with me. Everything comes with envelopes, no stamped images. I am doing something brand new. I'm so excited about this these are my happy crafting card this is my happy crafting card kit class and what happens here is you get an invoice or you can mail me a check or a money order for $25 and your shipping is free you'll get an exclusive video to your email and it'll show you how to put together each and every one of these cards and you're going to receive two of each kit so you get eight you also get the envelopes. Again, no stamped images, so you'll get eight Whisper White envelopes, and you will get eight of, um, or two of each design to make eight cards. So I'm doing that. The only thing you have to do is email me at joannemaddie at outlook.com, and I will be happy to send you an invoice. Or if you have trouble with PayPal or stuff like that, I'm really flexible. So a personal check is fine. I just wait for it to clear the bank. And of course, a money order is fine. So those are going on. Remember, celebration is over at the 31st of March. The occasions catalog goes until June, okay, until we launch the new catalog. This keeps going. The occasions catalog keeps going, but the free stuff is over in like, what, a week and a half or so. So, um, hi, Roxanne. Nice to see you. Um, so, remember that there are all kinds of free items to get. You can even... Um, get this paper, the Painted Seasons, with a $50 order now. So um, let me give you that number, 149574. This is extremely popular paper, and I love it. Um, okay, so there we've got all of that out of the way. Now, let's go ahead and start to make... Um, Let's do this little box, this little box, this little basket first. And I just put some raffia in here and some um, Christmas, or Christmas eggs, listen to me, Easter eggs. Uh, but like I said, you could put anything in them. Even, let's say a coworker at work has been out sick or something like that. They might like something like this on their desk. So uh, one, of, one or the other ones. And now this is very plain. You can decorate this up, guys. Use your little punches from the, um, what is this, Bloom by Bloom set. You can do these little flowers and decorate that handle. There's all kinds of decorations and you can hang tags from them and everything, so a lot of fun. Okay, now, one disclaimer. We are live. 
<laughs> and it is me in this craft room and I am attempting to make a project okay so we're not doing a card I kind of step out of my comfort zone here and um, I have my little cheat sheet uh, directions so um, yeah so just bear with me if I make a mistake we'll get through it I'm gonna bring in my <laughs> simply scoring uh, tool right here my board let's see if I could put this right here and not really get in my own way. Okay. And I'm going to take, this is a six by six piece. We're using the Gingham Gala paper. Love this paper. I believe it's back in. It was out on back order. They can't keep that paper in. This is just so much fun. I love this paper. So first what we're going to do is, um, with this one, is to score it at two and at four inches. Okay, so... Just a six by six piece, score it at two and then four. Rotate it one time. So you're gonna make like a checkerboard almost, you know, like you're gonna make six squares. Again, score it at two and then four. Now leave your paper like this and at the three inch right here, make a little notch, just like that. Then on the first square and the third square, you're going to do some more scoring. So you're going to score it at three quarters of an inch, right to the first score line here. Don't go all the way down, okay? You just want to go to your score line. So right there, and then at one and three eighths. So one. And now an eighth of an inch is each little mark. One, two, three. All right? One and three eighths. Just to the score line. Come out to the third box and score at four and three quarters. And five and three eighths. That's five and one, two, three. Three eighths. Right there. And score it right to... The score line. Let me get that down just a little bit more. All right. So there are our score lines. I don't know if you can see that too well with this paper. I'm going to, okay, so we were right here. I'm going to flip it totally around to the other side. And let me give you those measurements again. So you do both sides. And again, you're going to score at three quarters of an inch to the score line. One and three eighths. To the score line four and three quarters to the score line five and three eighths five one two three to the score line all right so that is wonderful and then oh also also on this side I forgot this at the three inch make a little notch at the top that that little notch is kind of important all right so you do the same thing on each side now, let me, let me remove my scoreboard. And now we're going to cut. So what I want you to do is to cut on each of the score lines. So there's three lines. So you're going to cut on each of these. And you can add ribbon to these boxes. You can make a little get wet boxes. I keep calling them boxes. The one is kind of like a box. They're really baskets. So just to that, those three little things that, you know, so you have three sections right there. On the same, the same thing on this side. I have to admit, guys, I'm a little, um... I don't know. I'm not too creative making cards today. So that's why I decided to do a project. I was not too... I get into that. I get like into some little funk. Hi, Marja. I, and I just don't get creative looking at cards. So I thought, well, okay, let's make a project. So that's how we came up with this today. Now, remember the little score line at the three inches? You're going to take your scissors and connect it to this junction right here where this flap and that score line... And you're going to cut that off right there as straight as you possibly can and take that out 
and you're going to do the same thing in the opposite way. Right to the corner and take that out. So that's what your side looks like. Let's do that again on the other side. Up, cut up on your score lines to this score line. All three of them on either side. Okay, we're going along so far, we're going good. Okay, now your little um, notch right here, connect it to the corner in that, that junction right there of that score line, right there. And you're gonna take that out and again to the other one. And you're like, is this gonna make a box? Or a keep calling it a box, a basket. Yes, this is going to make the cutest little basket you've ever seen. So, right there. Now what you wanna do is get your Tombow. I like to use my liquid glue for this. And now this, this one, and I'm using DSP so it's a little um, thinner if, than if you were to, like you could do some, D, you know, make your own DSP and then um, on Whisper White cardstock. So I'm just going to, this one I'm just going to finger fold, and you'll see why. This one you kind of want rounded. I'm not using my bone folder on this one. So I'm just kind of pressing these in, and you'll see why. That it doesn't need to be real tight. All right, now... You're going to hold it where the point is toward you and you're going to start to now you could do this either way if you wanted the small check on the outside then bend that in if you wanted the large check bend it the other way so the point toward you and you're going to take the first two tabs right here bring it in and we're going to glue it and then we're going to bring this in and glue it you see how it's kind of coming together you would never think from this mess right here that we would get this but we do so let's take our little tab right here, just a small bit of Tombow, and I'm going to cross that over just like that. Oops, sorry, I'm out of camera. Right here. And then I'm going to put another dot here. And you want to take this little basket and do one side and then the other side, just like this. Okay, and bring it in and kind of look over here. See what a nice little effect we're getting right there? Now, a little Tombow, and bring this side over again, and attach it, and then a little bit more Tombow, and attach this side. So much fun, isn't that coming together nicely? Now, this is where you kind of gotta watch. When you attach this, you want the top of the basket to be straight. Okay, when you attach the last one, really look at the outside. So right here, a little Tombow, that's probably too much, and bring this over, and I'm just, and this is where I just love having the wiggle room because, you know, sometimes you do have to manipulate it a little bit. And then right here, and this one right here, just like that. Now we're just going to, Kind of push it and squeeze it, making sure that things are even. And you have this sticking up. We're going to cut that off in just a moment. Let's go ahead and do our other side. So right here on our triangle, a little Tombow. Today will be a little bit longer because uh, on the video thing here because we are doing projects. Nothing that I can kind of cut short on like on YouTube, especially with the next one. This one's the easier one, I think. Just right there and just keep lapping them over from one side to the other just like that you want to get enough Tombow down 
but not too much to where it squishes out. I mean, you could always wipe it with your finger. Okay, now the last one, and again, the last one you want to be straight. So you just want to kind of put it on there and then just look right here. See, I'm going down at an angle. So with that Tombow, I have that just that second to lift that back up. Nice. And then right in here. Okay, we're about to get through the first one, knock wood without a glitch, right guys? Like I said, disclaimer, I'm doing a project, okay? And it's me in the craft room. There we go. Isn't that adorable? Now, we just had my daughter's shower yesterday, her baby shower. Oh my gosh, I don't even know how that baby was not even at the shower. She is so pregnant. Um, so, um, yeah, but we had, uh, I, I gave away like little things that I had made and everybody loved them, but this would be a fantastic little baby shower, something, you know, little gift or any type of a shower, wedding shower even, I think would look great in white. You know, and you might could even emboss. I just love your... <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, my goodness. I th Guys, I just love you guys. And thank you so much for being with me and hanging in there with me. I, it's just me. I love doing this, and I just have fun doing it. Um, okay, so what uh, sticks up here, we want to clip off. Just take your snips and just make it straight right there. I'm going to cut a little bit of paper there. And then this one right here. So just get those little pieces off of there. And I swear I made a handle. Who knows where it could be, right? Because it's me. I swear I had the handle right here. Okay, well, we'll just cut one. Oh, here it is. I put it in with the paper. What I'm doing is I'm just using this, and this is a half inch by six inches. Let me make sure. That's it. Yes, that is the one. Half inch by six inches. Very, very simple. I'm going to bring over my piercing mat. And for once, instead of a stamp pad, I'm going to use it as a piercing mat. I'm going to take my piercing tool. You take anything sharp. And where, right here, right in the center there. Okay, let me get close there. Right in the center there. Hi, Joanne. Good to see you. Happy Sunday to you also. Hi, Sandra. Um, right here is where you want to put your um, your hole. So I just kind of eyeball it. Even if I'm off, I'm okay with it. So I just kind of put my piercing tool in there and make sure that it goes through. We're a little off, but that's okay. You'll see why. It'll look cute. And then right here, the same thing. Just like that. Now, you're going to take two brads, and remember, the giveaway today, it will, you'll have the two brads in it. You're going to be able to make two of each basket, and I'm going to take my little um, handle here, and you can either do this on this side or, you know, do it opposite. You can either do it on the little check side or the large check side. It doesn't matter. Oh, my... Uh, Yes, my daughter's baby shower. Oh, my goodness. We had so much fun. She is, I don't know how that baby, like I keep saying, is still in there. Because, you know, I know she needs more time. He needs a little bit more time to bake there. Now, we're going to put this on the outside. Um, but we did have fun. We played some games. I gave away some of my crafts. Everybody loved them for the games. That was so much fun. And then in this little hole... With the brad and then in this little hole right here just like that and see why it kind of doesn't matter it's going to look like it's in the center anyway and then take your brad here and just spread it on the inside for the handle on this one isn't that cute i like the little handle on the outside because see it covers up all of this where you've crisscrossed it over so we're going to take another brad right here The only thing she got like uh, a lot of was boppies. She got three boppies. Other than that, though, she was she got everything she wanted, and um, we had punch, and we uh, ordered chicken nuggets from Chick Fil A, and did a fruit bowl, and did a gallon of tea. I did fruit. I did my punch though. Isn't that adorable? There is our basket. 
How cute is that? So we did. We really had a good time. There was a lot of people come, a lot of her friends, and it was beautiful. So here's the yellow one. That's Daffodil Delight. And this one is Grapefruit Grove. Aren't they adorable, just stinking cute little baskets? Uh, okay, now, the next little basket, this one. Let's talk about this one first. This one I have the eggs in, okay, to make. And like I said, you can um, decorate these handles up. You know, put some flowers on them, I, anything. They just look too cute. All right, now, let's talk about this little basket. I want to show you the first one I made at 3 a.m. Maybe I, I got it a little bit bad because it was at 3 a.m. I couldn't sleep. So I came into here. Whenever I can't sleep, I come into the craft room. And I noticed that when I put this down, let me get right up here. See this spacing here? where the glue, I, di I did not have the glue all the way to the end to then allow this to really bow out. Do you see how that does that? So then this morning when I was coherent, I <laughs> made this one. And as you can see, I've learned from my mistake. Everything is right to the end and we have that perfect little um, bow that comes out there. Isn't that adorable? And this little basket, I mean, I need to tell you what, guys, the top, what is this, two inches? Yes, it's two by two. Two by two is the top. Just so cute and so much fun. So, again, when we do this, I'll show you. You must get the Tombow when we're using it all the way to the edges on this bottom, or you will get that separation right there. And see if it really, if, it, if I was to just push it down, if it was to stay, it won't stay we would get that little bow that we want on our DSP, okay? So a little bit of a mistake on that, but you learn, you learn. And now, let's see. Let me go ahead and flip my directions over here to my next one. Okay, the supplies on this one is one six by six sheet of solid, and we are going to use Highland Heather. I love this purple. So six by six sheet of solid, I'm going to use the Highland Heather from the Gingham Gala, and we will cut then um, six half inch pieces at five inches. We'll talk about that in a minute. We'll need one strip at one half by six. So you need one six by six, six ha one half by five, and one one half by six. You wanna cut the one half by six first. Okay, so um, let's do that. Let's just do that first. Let me move my little basket here. And now we're gonna move our trimmer in. So let me show you how to do this. So I've got my trimmer, let me get in camera. Hi Carrie, nice to see you. So here we go. The scoring tool is the lighter sandy color and the cutting tool is the darker color of gray. And we want to use our gingham gala first. And you wanna cut one strip while it's still at six by six. Okay, guys, cut one strip at one half of an inch. I like to use a larger piece of paper when I'm making a, a little cut because you have, a, it doesn't scooch as bad, okay, as much. It shouldn't scooch at all, really. But like if I was using a little strip, sometimes you get a little movement. So take one half of an inch off of your six by six, right there. Move that to the side. Then I want you to cut this down to five inches, all right? So now you've got the shorter end on top and the six inches coming down. I want you now to cut this down to five inches. Put this piece, you don't need that piece. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to bump into the camera. Hi, Connie, nice to see you. Oh, I'm so glad you could make it today, very nice. Um, so cut that down to five inches. Now, we will use this scoring blade right here. And we are going to score this at one half, and one and one half, and three and one half. Scoring this with the short side on the top, the six inches coming down at one and a half, score the whole thing. One and a half, and then three and a half. And again, disclaimer, it's me in the craft room. We have measurement and a lot going on, so Hang on, I think we're good though. Okay, so one and a half and three and a half. Now you're going to take your page, your piece of paper and turn it, and you're gonna cut six five inch strips. 
What this allows you to do is have more control over the paper because you have a larger piece. So now I'm going to cut six of these. Now you guys, you know that your blade is double-sided. So I always cut up and cut down. This way my blade gets dull on both sides equally. Just here at a half inch. And we want six of these. See how I have that control? It's almost like having a handle on the paper because a half inch is very, very small to cut. So we have four, five, and six. Okay, now we're gonna move, we don't need this. We're gonna move that aside. Now all of these are scored and it's very easy now. Just bend on the score lines, making sure that everything is even. Do you see how that's even on either side? So we want to bend each and every one of these. So much fun. I love to do a project. But like I said, I was totally, I, I had no idea about a card. I was searching the internet and I was like, no, not that, not this. Ugh. And then I came across boxes. And then I came across baskets. And when I came across these two little baskets, I went crazy. I was like, oh no, this is it. This is what I'm doing today. Okay, so we have all six of these little things together. We're still gonna use this. I'm gonna move those aside. We're gonna bring in our six by six sheet of um, solid cardstock. And this we're gonna score at one half inch. One half, right here. Two, two inches, four inches. That one half is really light. I am going back over that. I really need a thicker line on that. If you don't get a thick line like you think you need with the scoring tool, you can always, let me show you, bring your bone folder in, hold this down, it fits right in that trough and you can score it just like that. Okay, if you don't think, uh, but I don't think I pressed hard enough, really. Yeah, there it is, okay. So it's at a half, it's at two inches, it's at four inches, and we're just scoring now. And then at five and a half inches. All right, just like that. Now, take your paper and turn it one time. You're going to go right back over and score it again at what we just scored it at. A half, two inches, four inches, and five and a half inches. Right there. Okay. Beautiful. Now you kind of have like, as you can see it, it's like a grid almost. So now we're done with this. Bring those back in. All right. Now what we're gonna do now is cut things out. And we need four tabs. One, two, three, four. So hold your paper like, like whichever way that you're gonna have top and bottom, okay? Whichever way that you wanna do it. But you need a tab here, you need a tab here, here, and here. So what we're gonna do is cut these small sections out on either corner, all right? Just cut to the score line, and we're going to cut these out. All four. Don't go over. Okay? Stay within the, you know, you don't want to cut into here. All right? So you want to bring this down, cut there, come over. So do you see what I'm saying right there about having a tab? That's important for the little box, the little basket box. Look, they're basket boxes now. I can't get away from saying box. I don't know. All right. <laughs> so now we're going to cut this side and we're going to leave this one. Okay. So really leaving the middles alone right here. We're going to come here.
and down here. Okay, and once more. And they're all the same, and I, I missed that just a little bit. They're all the same in all four corners. You will do this. Right here. Just to that middle. Do not cut that tab. All right. So we have something that looks like this, and as you can see, we have four tabs. Now what we're gonna do is where the tabs are, we're gonna cut up here to release the sides so that we could fold the little basket box in. We're going to cut this up, and we're gonna miter this a little bit on an angle just so that it fits nicely and you don't have a lot of paper bulk. So just cut that just on an angle. Take that little, just that little bit out. And we're gonna do this in all four corners. Take your little miter cut, just like that. Beautiful, see how that looks? Turn it around, not on the sides. You're uh, you want to be, you see this? You wanna be opposite when you do this cut. You don't need it on all four, just opposite. So I went, I was here, now I wanna do here. You don't wanna do the side, you wanna do right here. So you wanna cut. Take your angle, pull your little piece out, that angle right there. All right, perfect, guys, perfect. Okay, let me get the scrap out of the way here. All right, now on this, because it really, hi Lisa, it really is a box. We do want to use our bone folder, but our tabs, our four tabs, this is very important. However that you fold this box in, I'm gonna come in this way. These tabs need to go the opposite way. Fold back on themselves, just like that. I'm a little off on this cut right here. I'm gonna come back in. And if you need to make adjustments, now would be the time. Good. So the tabs, fold them back, back away, all four. I'm going to bring my bone folder in. Now because this is really a box, we do want to use the bone folder, even though we make a basket out of it. It does have distinctive angles on it where this was more rounded and we could leave it with a soft look. So we did not bone fold this, you know, we just finger folded that so they came out cute, but this needs a bone folder. Okay, now that you have these done, you want to then fold your box away from in, fold it in and use your bone folder. Getting everything down nicely so that you have a nice solid bottom for this little basket box. <laughs> I've renamed it a basket box because I couldn't stop saying box. Just like that. Now then, on your sides, fold everything in. See that flap? I'm keeping that flap down right there. Bring my bone folder across, giving it a nice, nice crease, just like that. Now, we're going to use our Tombow, and these sides right here, these sides, come together. And then this is gonna come up. Isn't that cute? Isn't that adorable? You use the Tombow because you might have to wiggle room this a little bit. You really want this to square off on these sides right here, okay? I'm glad you got, I hope you guys are loving, the, when I came across these baskets, I fell in love with these baskets. So here, you want to put your Tombow right there and you wanna bring this in together let me get in that camera. I work away from you all sometimes. I don't mean to. But I want to bring that up. Now I want to wiggle room this out. Slide it out so that you are, are flush here at two inches and here at two inches. Okay. Now you're going to drop this down and you're going to place Tombow 
on this flap right here, not this, right here. Just like so. And let that adhere, all right, just like that. Let's do the other side. Right here on this little flap right here, little Tombow, just to hold it. Bring this up kind of with your hands, get it square, because this is where, this is important, because this is where your box is going to be square, and then see, it'll sit nice. Okay, now, right here on this flap out here, just some Tombow, nicely. All right. Now, our four flaps right here will receive tear and tape. I highly, and if you don't have tear and tape, you can use glue dots. I don't suggest um, snail because I think it'll pick up. You need something a little bit more permanent. So I'm going to use my tear and tape. Like I said, you might can do glue dots. Um, I really think the tear and tape is the best for this. And you're going to place this on the outside. See how the box is flat down? This is where you want the tear and tape, on this part, so you don't see it, all right, of the box. So stinking cute. And it's so little. It's just a two-inch little basket box. Box basket. I don't know. All right. Do not remove the tape cover. You will become a sticky mess, I promise you. Now, now we're going to take these pieces that we cut and scored earlier. And you're going to take your Tombow. And it doesn't matter whichever side. If you want the larger print, fine. If you want the smaller print, that's fine. Just fold them the other way. Wow, from West Virginia. Thank you so much for coming in, Nancy. Great. You can watch the replay to get all of the... Um, measurements and the giveaway is uh, two kits of each basket that's the giveaway today now the Tombow you must get the Tombow to the score line you must this is so important like I showed you in the other one that I did the Tombow has to go to the end there and then this flip it over and put this one on one end just like that does that make sense? Just like that. Put it on the end. Like I showed you here, this is why this lifted out. I did not have the Tombow all the way to the end, where then this one is all the way to the end. And then I was able to get a nice little bow out of that DSP. So that's important. And, you know, I was like, no, I'm going to show them this one because it's an easy mistake to make. You know, you think you've got it down. But it's these ends right here that is so important on this project. So we're going to go ahead and put this one on the top. You do one top, one bottom, and one in the middle. All right, like that. So much fun. And now more Tombow right to the end. And we're going to get the middle one right there. Kind of straighten them out. The Tombow gives you that wiggle room. Now, I want to look because I want to see here. Am I to the end? Is it adhering? Yes. Okay. Good. Very, very, very good. You can also, you know, press it down, put something heavy in it. But we still need to work on this a little bit more. Now, we're going to turn the box to where these are the other way. And we're going to crisscross the next section, and we're going to do three. And again, Tombow to the end. I cannot stress that enough. Tombow right to the end. Okay. One on the top to the end, or if you want to start top or bottom, it doesn't matter. And this is what gives you on the bottom that little weave look like that. This I did with, uh, what was it, Share What You Love and Tranquil Tide. So I thought that came out cute. These would be great little uh, craft projects for the teacher, Easter baskets for school. So sweet. And then this one right here. 
Yeah, we weren't getting this done in just 30 minutes today, guys, because I wanted to show you both baskets. I loved this one. A lot of people were doing this one on YouTube. But I love this one because it was quick and easy, and I love this effect right here. It's almost like a starburst, a little handle. Cute. So two different ways. So I'm really letting this kind of adhere itself. All right, now, we look like just an absolute mess, don't we? Um, we're going to use glue dots and our pokey tool right here. On each of these, now, you're going to add a glue dot on the edge of each one. Right here. And then what you want to do is take your fingers, bow the paper out, come down about a quarter of an inch, right there, see, and stick it. And see how that bows out nicely because we do have the Tombow right to the edge. Do all three like this. So much fun. And then right there. That could have come out just a little bit. We're all right. Okay, now you're going to remove your tear and tape backing, just the backing, and you're going to take your flap. Watch how we cover this up. Isn't this one? Just like that. Isn't that cute? That's how that made that basket. Let's do it again. Three glue dots. So much fun. Holding the basket, bringing it about, around about a quarter of an inch down. Just letting that bow out like I put a finger there. Right here in the middle. And then here on the end. Fun. Now remove your tear and tape. The prep on this, you wouldn't think that the little thing had come out just so stinking cute in the end. But it does and fold that down. Oh my goodness. It reminds me of like a little tomato basket. So three more glue dots. Quarter of an inch down right to the edge. And the more you make, oh, I was out of camera. So sorry. Thank you for sharing. Just like that. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Right there. And then bring that down and it holds it. It covers it up. It just is perfect. It's a perfect little basket. And I love Highland Heather. I like purples. Right here. Am I in camera? Yeah. Okay. I get excited, guys, and I pull the project close to my face. Okay, just like knock wood, all right? We are coming through this in a project. Like I said, I did the disclaimer. I am live. Oi. And I'm in the craft room. Right there. Right there. Okay, take this off. Oh, so cute. And fold it down. And here is our Highland Heather little basket. Isn't that adorable? Now, let's do the handle. This one little piece that's a half inch by six. I definitely want the larger um, print on the outside. This handle goes all the way to the bottom. So on the, on the side that you want, because it's got a stick here, on the side that you want, put two glue dots right here. Line it up with your center one and put this all the way to the bottom and just let that glue dot attach inside, all right? So it's going to be loose on the top. Bring this one over, let it touch the bottom of the box, let it line up with the center one and push it in. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Pam. I appreciate it. Look how cute. This, this Gingham Gala, I mean, uh, guys, these are adorable. Now. Your um, 
handle is floppy and I don't like that. So we just use two more glue dots. Very, very simple fix. Just right here. Because see, we, we didn't put these on before because we didn't know how far up the handle was going to come. So you just put this on the inside of your basket and let your handle just attach right there. And now it is solid. Let me tell you, I got a lot of eggs in here. Okay? I have a lot of eggs in my basket there. And, they're, and it's heavy. And it's holding it just fine. So right here, just going to bring that glue dot over, push that right on there, and here is our little purple basket. Oh my goodness, did we not make something cute? And again, guys, you can decorate this up. So much fun. Put a little bunny, put some flowers, I, anything. Here are our baskets for today. Let's bring them in. And like I said, this one here, see where I didn't get the Tombow to the edge? It is very important if you win the giveaway that you get that Tombow to the edge. This is just too stinking cute in Highland Heather. That is just adorable. Just cute. Let me get my trash out of the way there. And here's these two baskets. And this one I put the little raffia and the eggs in. So we, it's just a basket making day here. I've had fun in this craft room making these beautiful little projects with you guys. Right there, all our little baskets for the day. They're so cute. This is, I'm sorry, this, I am in love with this basket. I love that. I love the gingham gala. I didn't know that it would come out that stinking cute. Let's just put some eggs in there because then that's going to make that even cuter. Right. Oh, I'm putting all my eggs in one basket, guys. This one. <laughs> How cute. Very, very sweet. Nice little gifts for teachers. Uh, even the end of the year thing. Nice little gifts for baby showers. Great little, but they would probably work well with wedding favors also. You know, you could do some in white. They would look beautiful. Do a little stamping. It would look absolutely gorgeous. Um, please go over to Stamping in the Valley. Click on that big blue button. Order any and all of your Stampin' Up! products. I am so happy to be here with you guys today. The giveaway. Let's go back to that. Let's push this up. The giveaway for today. You're going to get four brads. You'll get enough to make two of these baskets. And that will be in... Um, I've already got them scored for you. I did the lemon, uh, yeah, lemon lime twist and grapefruit grove. I scored them for you. You will have to cut them. And here are the handles and here are the four brads. So you get two projects right there to make these two little baskets right here. Then you get, I cut and scored for you on this little basket. Oh my goodness. You're going to get a Highland Heather set and you're going to get a Daffodil Delight set. So there are four little baskets. That's the giveaway for today. Just make a comment below. You get all the, the four kits. Nothing stamped because that's a rule by Stampin' Up! But we didn't stamp anything. You could put your own um, uh, tag on it if you want to. But that is, I thought they came out so cute. Oh my goodness. This is my favorite. My absolute favorite. Um, is so I hope you guys enjoyed our day today in this craft room. Thank you so very much. And um, the only thing you have to do is leave a comment. At about 8, 8.30, I put a bunch of names into a little bucket that I've got, and I pull out a name. And that's how we get our winners. So just make a comment, say hello, um, uh, anything that you want to. And um, this is my biggest day ever. I have 34 people watching me right now. I am so amazed thank you so much and um so this will be the giveaway i'm very happy to pass this project on to you guys today thank you so much for watching if you didn't catch it um at the beginning go ahead and watch the video back again like i said i let the comments run until about 8 8 30 and then i pick somebody and i'll be more than happy to send you these little kits i want you guys to have fun in your craft room thanks again for watching happy crafting and have a wonderful afternoon